so this is the ebook that I picked up a few days ago after I finished reading K.M. Weiland's other book on writing structuring your novel. This is actually, I think, the yeah, uh, uh, book one. So this came out first. Uh, generally, you want to probably start your book with an outline before you write the actual draft. In other words, don't do what I do, which is to you know dive right in and then get you know halfway through and realize, oh, I have no idea where I am. I should probably start over. Probably not a good plan, and I more and more I'm thinking I need to not do that myself. So I picked up this book to get a better idea of how to outline in a way that's useful. I'm about halfway through it now. But anyway, on the second chapter, it does talk about this writing software called YWriter. And let me just click over and show you. YWriter is a free software created by Space Chalk Software. It is uh, essentially a writing and organizational tool, similar to what Scrivener does. For those of you who don't know Scrivener, it's this right here uh, at literatureandlatte.com. The uh, purpose of Y Writer is to help writers organize their ideas and to uh, allow you to actually write the story. And so I was messing around with it a couple of days ago, and I've just been kind of been gradually adding to it. And I drafted the first chapter of a potential book called Pop Goes the Waterbed. Um, I don't know if that title will stick. I'm not even sure if I'm going to write the book, but I just wanted to test the software. But so far, I, I like what I have uh, as far as you know the way it's organized. And I actually kind of am interested in the story now. It's given me a chance to see more clearly what it could be. So I want to show you guys a little bit the differences between Y Writer and Scrivener. And it might inform you how the two can work together, and it can certainly give you a chance to see how different they are, what each other's strengths and weaknesses are. The advantages, of course, uh, right off the bat, Y Rider is free, and unless you do the uh, the mobile version, which I think is like five dollars. Uh, I did look at it briefly. And I decided I'm not going to use the mobile for now because, like, you know, I don't want to spend five bucks on something that I can get more control over on my desktop. But it is an option for those of you who have a need to work on your novels elsewhere other than where your computer is. But anyway, that one's free. And then, of course, Scrivener is $40 on Windows, I think, and 45 on Mac, if I'm not mistaken. The other thing to consider, too, is uh, Scrivener is going through a rewrite as far as the formatting goes. They're currently on Scrivener 3.0 on the Mac, but on Windows it's still uh, 1.9. We'll find out here. Um, I have the Windows version, so you know the demonstration I show will be the slightly older version. So the Mac one certainly looks nice, uh, but Windows will get 3.0 eventually. And I know if you get Wind or if you get Scrivener now, uh, you'll if you don't already have it, you'll be able to upgrade automatically to 3.0 once it comes out. I don't have that option because I bought it long before they did the promo, so I will have to get 3.0 uh, fresh. Anyway, the the Scrivener program it's certainly versatile um, I want to show you just kind of the differences on what the two softwares do based on the story that I worked on so uh, if you want to hang out we'll uh, we'll see how that goes so hope you enjoy it